Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rajiv Sethi, interventional cardiologist practicing at Pune for the last 20 years. Today I am going to speak to you about hypertension which is a growing a global problem. We know that hypertension is a silent killer and it has become a global crisis. It is one of the important causes of premature death worldwide. And we are living in an epidemic of hypertension where we are seeing young patients coming at a very young age now with high blood pressure. And this is mostly all due to lifestyle related factors. Hypertension is a major risk factor for a number of diseases such as cardiovascular disease, stroke, kidney disease and blindness. And hence recognition and diagnosis and timely treatment of hypertension becomes very important in order to prevent these diseases in the future. Hypertension, the, if you ask me what is the prevalence of hypertension in India, it is close to 26%. And in fact, if you consider people above the age of 70 years, it is close to 30%. And there are so many patients who are still undiagnosed with hypertension. Hypertension, there can be a number of causes of hypertension. The most common causes, as I said, are lifestyle related causes, lack of physical activity, undue stress, continuous stress, unhealthy diet, fast food, and plus uh, certain other risk factors such as smoking, tobacco use, all add to the development of hypertension. But even after diagnosis of young blood pressure, there are at least two thirds of individuals in India whose blood pressure is not under adequate control. And when your blood pressure is not under adequate control for a long duration of time, it tends to have an effect on the body organs. So it can lead to cardiovascular disease, myocardial infarction, heart attacks. 26% of heart attacks, the major cause is hypertension. 30% of patients with stroke or paralysis their major etiology is hypertension. Patients with kidney problems, 30% of them will have hypertension as their causative factors. So if you are able to identify and treat hypertension at a very young age, you will be able to prevent all these diseases. And it is mostly lifestyle related. So having a healthy diet, regular exercise, seven to eight hours of sleep daily will go a long way in preventing hypertension and some form of uh, stress relieving activities such as meditation, yoga can all help in reducing stress and reducing the incidence of hypertension. And once you are diagnosed with hypertension, it becomes very important that you continue with the medications and you do not stop the medications in between. We have seen many times that once the blood pressure is under control and the patient starts feeling better, he stops the medicines because he feels that he is cured. Many, some of the times if the blood pressure comes under control with our lifestyle modification, we can stop the medicines. But in certain individuals, if the blood pressure still remains high, we need to continue the medicines. And because long periods of high blood pressure can have an effect on the kidneys, can have an effect on the brain, can have an effect on the heart, can have an effect on the eyes, and hence it becomes very important that we not only diagnose blood pressure at a very young age, but also we continue with our lifestyle modification and medicines as long as possible. I'm going to speak to you about heart attacks today at a younger age. Nowadays we are seeing young individuals come to the hospitals with heart attacks. You will not be surprised that last week we have had two patients one was a 24 year old and one was a 26 year old who came to us with heart attacks. So what is causing heart attacks in these young individuals is what is worrying us. We all know that heart attacks primarily used to occur after the age of 60 or 70 and the common risk factors for heart attacks were high blood pressure, diabetes, uncontrolled cholesterol, obesity, lack of physical activity, smoking, tobacco use and so on. But these young individuals who do not have these risk factors 
have been coming at a very young age and most of them most of the reasons that we seem to find is related to lifestyle factors because at a young age these individuals are exposed to uh, undue stress lack of physical activity some of them smoke are chain smokers and one very important finding that we have found in these young individuals is deficiency of vitamin b12 that we are finding is a common factor responsible for heart attacks at a young age so whenever an individual comes to us with chest pain we identify the that the person has a heart attack by seeing what sort of pain it is when it is a central chest pain associated with sweating vomiting which is going to the arms to the back it could be a sign of a heart attack and the first test that we do is an ECG or an electrocardiogram which is diagnostic and once the ECG tells us that it is a heart attack we shift the patient immediately to the ICU and then he is subjected to either of the two modalities so in a heart attack what primarily occurs is one of the arteries of the heart gets blocked and we need to open the artery and there are two ways to do that one is to give an injection what we call is a thrombolytic agent and the other is to do angiography and angioplasty what we call as pami or primary angioplasty now depending upon the hospital whether it is suitable to take him for an angiography or angioplasty or not he is subjected to one of these two modalities by which the artery is opened and after that we then start the patient on blood thinning tablets on cholesterol reducing tablets on other tablets for the heart and if the patient is vitamin b12 deficient we need to continue with vitamin b12 supplements so in order to prevent these heart attacks it becomes very important that we uh, identify these risk factors at a very young age and hence we always advise that we should start young that young individuals at the age of 30 should be undergoing wellness programs where they are checked up for blood pressure for diabetes for high cholesterol where they are counseled to reduce stress to stop smoking if they are to reduce tobacco use and by following a heart healthy lifestyle which includes healthy diet regular physical activity and total avoidance of al of alcohol and smoking we can to some extent reduce this large epidemic of heart attacks which is affecting our younger population. Thank you.